You may have heard of a scratch test for food allergies, but have you heard of a food patch test? Hello everyone, my name is Nick, coming to you today from Grand Haven, Michigan. And you may have heard of a scratch test before, but level two is a food patch test, where they actually take foods and patch them or tape them to your body. I did this just last week. They taped them on on Monday and then I had the results. Uh, I went back in for the results on Thursday where they removed the tape and saw what was inflamed with the different types of foods. Then afterwards they actually did the scratch test. So I had a food patch and food scratch test last week. What I consider level one, the scratch test, level two, the patch test, and the third level, which I'm looking forward to doing in the future, is actually a blood test for food allergies. So, All right, this is what, day three for my food patch test? I got this 20 different foods taped to the back of my spine slash back and have to have it on for three days. Oh, so it's been sponge bath and slow moving all day, but this is what it looks like. Definitely uncomfortable. This spot down here is for a scratch test tomorrow, which I'll, I'll see, but yeah, uncomfortable. I'm looking forward to getting this off my back. So. Well, I just got the food patch test removed from my back. This is kind of what my back is looking like. She said my skin didn't react to the tape that it was on, so I'm looking forward to getting the results and and trying a couple of fresh fruits as well to see if uh, I'm allergic to anything. Well, there's just one that came back. We're going to do a scratch test, a version of that, and see what happens. One last thing before closing this video is if you do a patch test, Definitely schedule in some rest or recovery afterwards. It is a multiple day endeavor. So I definitely enjoyed my breath yoga class. I help organize on Thursdays after my patch test was over. And also a friend of mine thankfully invited me to his hot tub to, to spend as many days as I needed there to recover. So my back was definitely sore from the experience as well as having a problem uh, sleeping, you know, in my stomach, which is actually not necessary if you do do a patch test, but I just found it was just, you know, it was a new experience for me. So hopefully my experience will help you if you do a patch test or a scratch test. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you and especially to the long time and new subscribers. That is super cool of you. I appreciate you very much.